Hello, Media Maniacs, and welcome back to another episode of Music, Media, and More. I'm your host, Jillian Richardson. And I'm Maddie Warren. And let's get right into it. For our first topic today, Doja Cat won her first Grammy while she was in the bathroom, saying, quote, I have never taken such a fast piss in my life. I love that for her. I feel like that's <laughs> iconic, actually. Yeah, it's actually <laughs> incredibly on brand for her, too. Yeah. Like, no one else could have done that. <laughs> oh, no, yeah. I feel like it really fits with, like, her whole persona, because she started off on, like, streaming and TikTok and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So, and it kind of, like, uh, it kind of reminds me of, like, the Jennifer Lawrence thing. Oh, yeah, where she, like, fell. Yeah. And, like, <laughs> yeah. Twice. She fell twice. Oh, really? And I feel like it'll be, like, a yearly, a yearly thing. Yeah. Next time. She has to go to the bathroom right before she oh, yeah. wins her Grammy every year. Yeah, I think she should. I think it'd be no. really good. But the the real question is, who? why didn't they stop her from going to the bathroom? Because she had to have known yeah. that her, like, section was coming up. I didn't watch it, but, like... Me either. Yeah, she had to have <laughs> known. Like, it's, yeah. like, one of the biggest, like, moments in, like, an artist's career, especially if yeah. it's your first one. Oh, was it her first one? I think it was. Oh yeah, it was both her and her um, co-host, or, like, her co person SZA they, it was, I think it was both of their first Grammys oh wow yeah someone so, should have told her <laughs> don't go pee right now yeah please. literally <laughs> so that was a weird choice on her part but that's okay it's iconic fun. yeah um but I love it because she she like <laughs> ran up like adjusting her dress <laughs> from the bathroom and then she like makes a joke and then like immediately starts crying <laughs> oh <laughs> okay like like full on just well I not like sobbing okay but like Enough where, like, her voice was, like, cracking and, like, oh. all that was happening. But it was, like, a, oh, this means so much to me. This oh, is a really okay. big deal. I know I make all these jokes, but, like, thank you guys so much. Oh. And it was cute, but I also know. just, like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd be crying from embarrassment, Yeah, actually. that's fair, actually. <laughs> like, sorry, guys, I don't mean to be late. Yeah. <laughs> She also, like, there's, like, this clip of her, like, running up, and she, like, chucks her vape, like, into the audience. <laughs> not the vape. Oh, no. <laughs> it's, like, you can't, it's not, like, a zoomed-in clip, but yeah. that's, like, what everybody thinks it was. It was just her, like, running from the, that's why she had to go to the bathroom, actually. She oh. just wanted, no, I don't actually know. That'd but. be funny. I, that would make sense. I think I actually saw a TikTok of her walking, <laughs> like, behind stage, and oh. she had it in her hand, and all the comments were, like, of course she has her vape, but nothing else. <laughs> just that. <laughs> <laughs> just that a vape in one hand the yeah. grammy in the other <laughs> literally that's so oh fun god. oh my gosh what do you think of her music overall i really like her music i didn't that much at first just because like i was like mm, it takes me a while to like really settle into music yeah but um she like pops up on tiktok all the time mm -hmm. so yeah. it like really has grown on me yeah definitely yeah whenever she comes up comes out with like any music i feel like immediately it's like viral there's like a dance oh, yeah. for it she's doing all of this promotions for oh it, so. yeah yeah it's super cool but yeah what do you think of SZA, her um co why can't i think her like featured artists i guess okay do you um, know any of her music not really i know a few of her songs i guess like in passing but oh, okay. um yeah. i don't know her ton i really like her voice or for yeah. the music i've heard i like yeah she has a really pretty voice but i don't know anything about her that's <laughs> so. fair yeah. she went up on stage so doja cat had her whole thing in the bathroom and then uh, while doja cat was in the bathroom sizzle had to be helped on stage oh. um because she's on crutches <laughs> oh, <laughs> and no. everyone's like why is she in crutches and she was like in a whole wheelchair like on the red carpet. I, yeah, like, I think I saw the wheelchair. <laughs> like this whole thing. And everybody's like, oh my gosh, what happened? She goes, I fell out of bed. All uh, of that for falling out of yeah, bed? Yeah, like, how tall is her bed? Like, <laughs> it's yeah. like 15 feet up or something. She is on the ceiling. Yeah. She sleeps in a hammock every night, actually. <laughs> she would. She yeah. gives that vibe, actually. Iconic. Yeah, iconic of her. <laughs> but there's this clip of her, like, getting on stage. And so she, like, waddles for, like, five steps and then uses her <laughs> crutches. So, so she's not even using them when she's going She's on. not using the crutches. Everyone's like girl you're walking okay yeah i think it was just like kind of a like publicity tactic for her to She's, get more attention okay she does but, need to upstage the but, bathroom scene. Like, so. even in this picture she's literally like holding the crutches yeah, like she's, she's not, not even leaning <laughs> 
She's not even using them <laughs> at all. <laughs> yeah, she's actually totally fine. I love that. That's okay. I love That's the smirk, okay. too, with it. I just yeah. think it fits. <laughs> I don't need them. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, on to our next topic. Um, Olivia Rodrigo came out with a movie. It's called Driving Home to You, a sour movie. And sour is, like, the name of her album that just came out this summer. The, it came out this yeah, summer, right? Yeah, I think so. And so, yeah, what have you seen the movie? You know I have. Yeah, yeah, I just recently watched it. Like my whole my brothers and I are like obsessed. Oh, I love that. Yeah. <laughs> so, I love her music. Yeah, what what is the movie about? I haven't seen it yet. It's kind of like um I'd kind of compare it to like Taylor Swift's Reputation Tour like on Netflix and then um it's like a combo of both the Taylor Swift's like the other okay. one behind the scenes okay. it's kind of like a behind the scenes for like five minutes and then it'll do like her singing her song acoustic okay. um but it'll be like a different version of her song so like mm -hmm. jealousy jealousy i think she did like a rock rock version not like a punk rock kind of thing okay or pop rock yeah um yeah i don't know that's fun yeah, <laughs> it, was it was it good did you like her alternate versions better than the recorded or anything uh, I really liked it because like it showed off her vocals a lot more which she got a lot of flack for when she first started mm -hmm. um, So I really liked it for that, but I wish there was a lot more like behind the scenes um, I felt like I really like Didn't get that and I thought that's what it was gonna be that makes she shows sense. like a little bit, but not much Yeah, she's still getting out there. Yeah, yeah I feel like she really blew up overnight like nobody knew who she was at all and then yeah. like, her like driver's license blew up on TikTok and then everybody's talking about that and all the stuff happened. It just skyrocketed. Yeah, it was yeah. overnight. But yeah, have you seen any of her like acting stuff? Cause that's like what she's like known as mainly. Right, right. Have you seen any of that? I haven't. Cause she was on High School Musical, the musical, right? That was... High School Musical, the, the, the musical, musical, the series. Yeah, something like the, the show or the, the series. I, or I, don't know. Like I never that. watched it. Yeah. I tried to, but yeah. I like her music much more. I okay. don't know anything about yeah, her acting. I agree. Well, I was watching New Girl the other day, and I was like, oh my god, is that Olivia Rodrigo? And I She's on New up. Girl? She's on New Girl. She has a what? cameo on New Girl. I was like, what? Huh? <laughs> it That's was so, so random. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this was also like five years ago. So she's oh. probably like. 12. <laughs> okay, I love that for her. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was just so random. She, yeah, all over the place. Her and Nick Miller in the same room? That's a bit much. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway. Very different vibes. Very different vibes. vibes. <laughs> Actually, yeah. I love that. That's funny. All right. Um, and for our last topic, um, the now infamous Will Smith slap. Oh, gosh. I'm sure you've heard about okay. this. So, um, Chris Rock was announcing the Oscars a few weeks ago, and he called Jada Pinkett Smith G.I. Jane, um, yeah. presumably because she was bald. And the reason why, like, this was such a thing, at least kind of, was that she has alopecia, which is, like, where some of your hair falls out. Yeah. So she, like, made the conscious de decision to, like, shave her head. Right, and right. And then he, like, calls her G.I. Jane and uh, this yeah. whole thing. But the thing that really got me was that Will, like, when you, like, went to, like, the audience after, like, Chris Rock said it, Will laughed at yeah, first. Yeah, like, I like, saw that. Like, chuckles. And then he looks over, and, like, Jada's, like, so mad. Beyond belief. Yeah. So mad. And so he's, like, oh, shoot, I have to fix this. So then he starts, like, cussing him out and, like, runs up on stage. And, well, did he, do you know if he ran up on stage and cussed first? Or I think he, he ran up on stage first and then cussed afterwards because oh he like ran up slapped him sat down and then <laughs> yelled yeah, at him no he did because i remember when i was watching it i was like what is happening because it happened yeah. so quick it really did it was like so like it looked fake to me too to be yeah. honest because the slap was so like like chris like yeah launched yeah, yeah it was like whoa that had to have been scripted yeah. and then they like bleeped out the entire part where he was swearing yeah. well and and the way he walks up in the beginning when he was like first going to square up it looks like gta like yeah. it doesn't look <laughs> like he's like <laughs> you know i'm gonna go slow up a car. <laughs> yeah. that's really funny <laughs> yeah so that was weird but um what do, who do you think was right in the situation do you know uh, I don't know if there was someone that was necessarily, like, right. Yeah. Um, I don't think 
the slap was necessary. I think it could have been handled differently. Um, and originally when I first heard about it, I was like, oh, well, maybe Chris Rock didn't know and whatever. Then I heard like all the beef and all that, <laughs> the history of that whole little group. Yeah. Uh, and I don't think there's any way he didn't know. <laughs> I agree. So I think maybe like he could have run it past her. Yeah. Or, well, actually, I think I heard, didn't um, Amy Schumer, she was the one who wrote all the jokes or something. Because she oh. kept calling, she called Jennifer Lawrence fat that night too. She did. And everyone was pissed. Yeah. I do remember that. Yeah. So, I don't know. I, yeah. I'm, I'm a little indifferent. Well, not indifferent, but... Yeah. It's kind of a nuanced issue, but who's to say? Be sure to chime in on our Instagram at Colorado Mesa TV. Thanks for watching, guys.